This is part two of a two-part uh, presentation on the Uniface Message API. Part one was a PowerPoint presentation that described the architecture, and this part two demonstrates some components and shows the proc code behind them. First of all, we can see that there are multiple runtime environments up and running. This one over here is running a component RECV MES1, as is the second one up here. And over on the left side, we have a, two components running in the runtime environment Post MES1, which you can see has a variety of buttons to send messages, and another instance of the Receive MES1 component. So the first example I'll show is posting internal message. Very simply, receive miss one within the same runtime environment receives a message suitably timestamped and so on. To send a message to one of the external uh, runtimes on the right hand side for instance on the bottom right I have to take note of the UST that it has registered itself on. All three of these runtime environments have dynamically registered themselves with uRouter by first determining their process ID and then using the open statement which we'll see eventually. So I'll go back to here and replace this with the UST which is 6068 and I'll post it a message via an XE. You may notice I've color coded the backgrounds just to uh, identify the, the actual source. So I'll use the other method on UST 3164 And this is going by the post mess DLL. Now, the receive mess one inside the first left side uh, runtime environment is capable of replying back to where it came from. But neither of these other ones can reply back because it's a post mess only works on internal um, targets. So let's have a look at the actual development environment and we'll first have a look at the RECV MES1 component to see how it actually receives the messages. First of all you note in the execute trigger that we're looking at now that uh, there is some code to retrieve the process ID and uh, as I said in part one this could be now replaced by a proc function that can actually get the process ID directly. The main thing I want to draw your attention to is this open statement. So open localhost, the username, the process ID and the path dollar DNP. Let's have a look at the ASIC interrupt trigger. And here you can see that we're uh, using the proc functions dollar MSG SRC and dollar MSG ID to uh, save them in component variables and reuse them later on. I also use the message ID as a way to change those background properties you saw visually there. But uh, and also in message.e1 there the actual message is displayed. So let's have a look at different component. Post message one. Likewise, when it starts up, it has a similar uh, mechanism as the other one because it uh, has to actually uh, do the open on that path. So let's have a look at the contents behind the buttons. The post internal button was very straightforward. It has a post message statement using uh, RECV MES1 as the target, uh, the instance name. Post to command, the second one, uh, is using an operating system um, signature here, osshell.command, and it's an asynchronous version, so it's just sending the actual command. But I'll expand this slightly so you can see how we build up the actual command. V command is this DOS prompt shell command, 
but it has these switches slash DNP slash DST slash mid slash message and this is the four parameters that the API requires. The documentation for using this command uh, line program is in the sample that is provided. And the third parameter, uh, or third button, use the activate post message DLL. I could briefly show you this DLL um, signature as well. The main thing uh, to see here that it is a C implementation. It's very straightforward. You post message DLL. Single operation. The proper name for the actual routine and the four parameters. These are all documented in Uniface library. So you can see they have the same kind of uh, parameters there. I want to show you now a different component. This component actually uses the Eurouter Monitor API. So you can see here we have a list of all the current uh, Uniface runtime environments running. I'll just shorten that again so you can verify that. And we can see the 3164 is registered, the 6068 is registered, and indeed so is the 224 registered. So I can send a message to any of these. I can click on that and post a DLL message to it. Let's have a brief look at this component. You can see the first part up here is using urclients.urroutemon and this model uh, it can be entered by hand according to the definitions that are in the Uniface library. However, it's also possible to go to the uniface.info community website and download uh, a already exported uh, copy of the model. So here in the execute trigger of this component, I draw your attention to the usual statements that we saw in the other components to do the dynamic USD registration, but in addition, these two activate statements. Activate uroutemon to connect, and then activate uroutemon get clients to get the list of clients. That concludes part two of the presentation on the Uniface Messaging API. Thank you.